Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're joining me for the first time, my name is Christine and I just recently came back from a Japan and Korea trip. So I've been posting a lot of vlogs. So if you haven't seen any of them, make sure to check it out. I'll post some links up here. Now this is actually my very first Korea vlog, but it was actually my last day in Korea. The reason why I want to do this one first is because I did so much shopping and some of the things that I bought are still in their bags and still in the boxes. So I just wanted to finally just like unbox it all and just really, really organize all of the things that I bought because I bought so many cosmetics and so many skincare products that it's time I really organized that. So yeah, I just wanted to film this one first to just kind of get that out of the way. For my vlog, I head on over to Yoido Park, Hangan River. So I also um, kind of walked through Insadong and then which eventually led me over to Kyungbokun Palace. I didn't actually go inside the palace, so you'll see kind of why later on in the video. But after that, I then headed over to Myeongdong. So in Myeongdong, I did a lot of shopping and I also visited the famous Innisfree Cafe. So if you're interested to see what the food is like there and just like what the atmosphere like is over there, definitely keep watching because I also tried out their VR machine. And that was a lot of fun because it was with someone amazing. Keep watching to figure out who. And of course, I head on over to the Pink Hotel by Sal Nanda. All right, so if you're interested in seeing any of what I just talked about, definitely make sure to keep watching and watch to the very end to see all the products that I bought throughout my whole shopping day. Let's head on over to Korea now. So I'm turning this girl <laughs> into BTS trash right here. It's okay. gonna be ARMY. It's only been one song. So like, <laughs> I always play Spring Day by BTS because it is spring <laughs> and it's a day. It's so catchy. Yeah, and I love the song. It's on loop in my head right now. Yeah, and like, <laughs> yeah, it was just played at the cafe we were at. Yeah. And then like, it was my alarm clock yeah. and like, it kept hitting snooze. It kept hitting snooze. So she heard it. So she heard it for a whole hour. She was hitting snooze for almost an hour. Turning her into army right now. <laughs> Walking towards Zoido Park and Rachel is still <laughs> watching BTS videos. Yes. Yes. Making yes. on a fan. <laughs> so I just got five flyers on chicken. It's been like two times. Literally like five flyers, I got five flyers. Yeah. These like Ajimas and Ajishis are really good at their jobs. <laughs> Like a natural disaster is happening. 
funny. <laughs> really funny. And like, Rachel has her cheap umbrella that she bought in Japan. <laughs> At first, she was like, wow, it's only five bucks. I know why. Now she knows why. <laughs> Oh, it's actually raining really hard again. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Ah! But it is like thunderstorming up there. And like it's really windy. We're taking cover. I don't even know where we are right now. But there's a few other people here also taking cover. So, but we're on our way to Venice Street Cafe. <laughs> <laughs> we, wild yeah, we want to take cover there so that we can like shop or like have a drink or like chill. But like we're just in this empty office building ish thing. I feel like we're still like, we eat a lot and then we're all we just run for cover. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're on an adventure. <laughs> Where do, where do will knock you down? 
Right, now it's time for the haul. So, I guess first, the first thing that I'll show you guys are some of the masks that I bought. Now, I assure you, I actually bought over 80 sheet masks when I was in Korea. These are only, oops, these are only some of them. So the first one I'm going to show you is the Papa Recipe, the honey, or sorry, the Bombi Honey Mask. I really, really like this one. Um, even though it's a honey mask, it doesn't leave any sticky residue at all. It absorbs really nicely into the skin and it smells amazing. Definitely really good pick-me-up for when your skin is feeling dull. And this other one that I bought is the J. June Refine to Shine Mask. It's a real water brightening black mask. What I really like about this is it actually comes with three steps. So it comes with its own cleanser, an essence, and of course the mask. Again, I really like it. I think it's the first black mask that I've ever tried. But I really like this one because it adheres really nicely to your skin and it doesn't slip off at all. That's definitely one way that you can tell that something is a quality face mask. So at Olive Young, they have some Cosrx products. So of course, I wanted to try out the ever so popular pads that they have. So this one is the One Step Pimple Clear Pad. And this one is their Moisture Up, One Step Moisture Up Pad. They're both like, I don't know, the packaging of this is just so funny. I love these though. Okay. I actually find that I like the Moisture Up Pad more. Um, I find that it's just more useful. I actually end up using it more on a daily basis. Whereas this one, I kind of just use it whenever I get um, a breakout, which hasn't been that often lately. I think because I've been taking a lot better care of my skin that I haven't really been breaking out as much. Um, or of course, like when around my menstrual cycle, I always like kind of get the hormonal breakouts, which this is really good for. And also from Cosrx, I got the Low pH Good Morning Cleanser. Now this one I actually find dries out my skin a little bit. I do have quite sensitive skin, but as long as I just use the Moisture Up pad right after or another hydrating toner, it's not too much of an issue for me. Um, one thing that I really like about it though is it has a lot of botanical ingredients. So one of the ingredients that I really like in there is the tea tree oil that's inside. The tea tree oil um, helps to fight off bacteria and it's really good for preventing breakouts. So that's also probably one reason why I don't break out as much now. And I went over to Etude House and got the Double Lasting Foundation. It's actually such a struggle for me getting um, foundation in Korea but I find that like quite recently they've been expanding their color line and won't focus on this it's really annoying but this is what foundation looks like I got the second darkest color it's called tan the color is tan but it's actually even a little bit lighter than my skin I found that the darkest shade amber was like almost an orangey shade like it was didn't quite match me either, like the undertone of it was a little bit off. So I settled for the tan and I just like put on kind of bronzer to kind of make my face not look too white. Um, but yes, I'm actually not wearing this one today, I'm wearing something else, but yeah. I really like this foundation, um, so like the name, it's like what it's called, the Double Lasting Foundation, I do find that it wears really nicely on my skin, I don't feel the need to have to powder throughout the day. It's got a nice satin finish so it's not too matte and not overly dewy so I definitely really really like this foundation and I recommend it because it was quite cheap like maybe maybe it's around like $20 like right now the foundation that I'm wearing I'm wearing the YSL BB cushion no it's not even cushion the YSL cushion and that was like 75 Canadian so quite expensive Okay, oops, I forgot to talk about the Sewn and Park Beauty Water that I also got from Olive Young. I quite enjoy this one as well. It has a nice light scent to it. Um, it claims to be a moisturizing and exfoliating beauty water. So you can use it as a toner if you'd like. You can use it really to like cleanse your face. Um, 
but I tried using it as like a pre face wash step to kind of help take off some of my makeup but I found that I had to like go through like I think like three to five cotton pads to really like take off some of my makeup so I definitely wouldn't recommend it in your actual cleansing um in your actual cleansing routine I would definitely stick with like either using cleansing balm first or cleansing oil to really take off your makeup but this is maybe good for the morning if you're feeling lazy which I have done before I mostly use it as a toner though buy from Innisfree. Oh, I actually bought, okay, I threw it away now because I already used it, but I bought this like panda sleeping eye mask. It like warms up and that was really nice and I just love pandas, so it was just like an obvious purchase for me. But I wanted to get um, like a pressed powder compact. So this is the No Sebum Blur Pack. And I like this one. It has a nice light clean scent to it, but not as effective as I would really hope for. But I haven't actually found any powders that are like 100% effective in my opinion. Like I do find that if I use this a few hours later, I might need to pat pat again. But I mean, it's so compact, it fits in my little bag. So it's okay if I have to touch up a little bit. And also a Myeongdong, I think. Was, did I buy this from Myeongdong? I'm pretty sure. So I bought this um, at a latte young plaza i think or just a latte department store it's pony effect so this is like a liquid lipstick it's called the stay fit matte lip color and i got the color in so good i chose this one because i bought a lot of like ready colors and like um, bright pinks this one's a little bit different because it's more like mauve it's more of like a purpley pink Although I do find that this color would probably be better for the autumn time. But since I live in Vancouver, it's quite rainy. I feel like this would be good for those rainy days. So I haven't quite worn it yet. And from Stalnanda, I got... Because it was my last day in Seoul, I was running out of Korean want and running out of space in my luggage. So I really limited it to myself and I didn't really shop for their clothes. So what I did buy was the blush from 3CE. This one is called Shy Shy. Really cute color. I bought it because it reminds me of the line from the Twice song. And I bought this nail polish. It's in this box here. And this color, I don't think it has a name. It's called PK08. And I also went to Misha. Now I went to Misha, I bought like four of these babies. Um, if you've ever heard of the SK2 Essence, it's like, it's so expensive. But this is supposed to be the Korean dupe for it. I do love the SK2 Essence, that's what I'm using right now. Um, but because I don't, because it's so expensive, I want to use that more sparingly. And this was definitely more affordable. So I'm gonna try to be trying this baby out soon. I heard a lot of great things about this, so I'm really excited to try this one. So it's called the Time Revolution, the First Treatment Essence. If you've tried it, definitely let me know what you guys think about this. Alright, I think that is all that I bought this day. Thanks so much for watching my video. If you have any further questions, definitely leave your comments down below. If you like what you saw and you want to see more detailed reviews, I can definitely do that for you as well. Just let me know once again in the comments down below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. We'll be posting up more of my Japan vlogs and I'll continue posting up some Korea vlogs as well. So yeah.